Public Works is an art architecture practice that it was founded in 2004. We are very much interested in what constitutes the civic. We are also very interested in the temporary and what is mobile and roaming. Wet Lab is a project that we've been developing in collaboration with the um, Assembly. It started off as a, a project in conversation with our commissioners who are abandoned normal devices and uh, super slow way. The wet lab, it's a floating infrastructure. Starts from the idea that we can look at the canal using domestic objects and tools that are coming perhaps from our houses, so specifically from the kitchen, hence why it's wet lab canal kitchen. And there's gonna be infrastructure for workshops where we're gonna be able to run events and sessions with, with local groups and organization at each stop. So the infrastructure for the wet lab is actually composed by two parts. One is a layer of modular pontoons and then on top of the pontoons we have an infrastructure that is made out of timber that is all modular as well so it's easy to install and take down. The structure is going to introduce another element that is the canal clinic which is going to collect samples and understand the health of the canal but also uh, it's quite key the role of a rocket stove looking at the different combustibles and fuels that can come from the canal a solar dryer that dries briquettes uh, which are going to be used to fuel the rocket stove so to develop the rocket stove uh, we've been working with uh, um, appropriate technologies expert Joshua Guinto is the co-founder of a social enterprise called Baha'i Technique so we have contacted Joshua and started working with him on a number of sessions and uh, he's been uh, teaching us about the rocket stove and the different other prototypes of stoves that he's been developing. Also like how to build briquettes. He's also been teaching us how to build the solar dryers. Well, I decided to first discuss the solar dryers. We are building on the dryer with community people using bamboo frames mm. and plastic sheets are all around it. Our innovation here is to have an elevated platform using concrete hollow blocks. And we filled this up with a black sand. I dry anything, just about anything into this dryer. You see, she's my sister. Mm. She works in another NGO and you see her, she's drying her chili. Yeah. Chili harvest in the dryer. Yeah. I dried even fish. This fish is in, 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 a, in a cage uh -huh. because the big issue here is I have so many cuts in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a sketch up drawings um, of, of some options based on the information you gave us last week. Oh, wow. <laughs> And basically, we need to move it around. So we were looking at a way to kind of put it on wheels. <laughs> now, here is I, how I constructed my rocket stove before. Mm -hmm. My innovation from the work of Rock of Black is this additional pipe exit of the ash and, yeah. and also it becomes the entry of air from below and then these holes are also off tangent the idea is to make a vortex ah. vortex on the flames mm, so this is similar to the one that we built this one and then we're looking at building something closer to what you have and so it would be in kind of layers of bricks and then there would be this would be the where you feed the briquette yeah. in and this is where the biochar yeah. or like the ashes or biochar collect you know it yeah go for it okay some coming out the chimney already <laughs> looking pretty good in there so that's what jed said that we start it with the timber and then uh, and then you start that's when you when it's going really well that's when you start with the briquettes. briquettes so as part of the briquette making process we've been discussing with uh, jed 
how to make different mixes and also using what we can find on site. So we started running a number of tests using plants and species of plants that we could find alongside canals, but also within the type of biodiversity that in the areas where the wet lab is going to be. As part of the briquette making, we are actually following this manual that is part of the Legacy Foundation. And there is an incredible research body that Jed Joshua is associated with and has worked with them for a long time. It's an incredible resource which has helped us a lot understanding the different mixes that we can introduce when we're making the briquettes. Mm -hmm.